Depending on the industry, typically between 10 and 70% of employees drive almost daily as part of their job. And the cost of driving their cars can vary widely, from 39 cents per mile to 85 cents per mile. But most companies manage their vehicle programs and mileage reimbursements in a way that treats all of their drivers equally. Employers tend to use one of three methods to cover driving costs in the U.S. Either a monthly allowance, reimbursing at the IRS safe harbor cents per mile rate, or providing a company or fleet car. So each of these options, which are typically used by companies, bring challenges, and there's actually a better way. In the U.S., the IRS provides a second tax-free methodology that they call FAVOR, which is well suited for drivers of more than 5,000 miles per year. FAVOR stands for Fixed and Variable Rate Reimbursement and accounts for unique costs of each individual driver, including geographic variances like fuel and maintenance and depreciation differences on the class of vehicle they're required to drive for their role. Let's look at a typical example of each methodology. For example, a home health care nurse, I'll call her Joan. She gets a flat allowance of $800 per month to reimburse her for the cost of driving her mid-sized sedan around 15,000 miles per year. Flat allowances are considered taxable, so Joan doesn't actually take home $800. With taxes, the cost of the stipend for the company is $860 per month, and Joan takes home only $498, or about $6,000 per year. The real cost to Joan of operating her car is closer to $9,000 per year, leaving her out of pocket by over $2,500. And now, with changes from the 2018 tax reform, she's no longer able to deduct those unrecouped costs from her income taxes. If her company were to reimburse her on her real cost per mile, they'd not only fully cover Joan's cost, they'd do it for less than the cost of the stipend. Then let's talk about Lauren. She's a sales rep driving 25,000 miles per year. Her real cost is around $10,000 per year, but she's reimbursed at the IRS safe harbor rate for a total of $14,500, meaning significant over-reimbursement by the company. Finally, we have Taylor, who manages a set of regional retail stores and drives around 7,000 miles per year in the small SUV provided as part of the company's fleet program. The cost of the company for the fleet car is around $10,000 per year, but Taylor's business mileage costs are really only around $6,000. The company's paying over $4,000 more per year than they need to, taking on additional risk and tying up capital in owning company vehicles. And now, Favor support is available fully integrated with Concur and includes GPS mileage tracking and automatically calculated individualized rates, so you can reimburse your employees as fairly and cost-effectively as possible.